Welcome back to the channel and I am walking up one of the more famous stairways in racing walking over the bridge at Williams Grove and uh, Buzz, how we doing how you tonight, buddy? thank you this place is pretty awesome uh, it's not always awesome in an on-wing sprint car when it's real heavy and hooked up it's kind of scary but just had the driver's meeting Almost go time uh, here at Williams Grove. This place is pretty wicked fast. Uh, long straightaways, tight corners. It doesn't race, you know, quite as fast as a lot of the half miles do. But you know, being a paper clip, it is very tricky in an on-wing car. Down the straightaway, the nose is trying to get up, and then when you when you set it down, it tries to like pull the left rip off the ground. But uh, excited to be here. Um, it's always fun being in Pennsylvania. So this 20 car was so good last night. Uh, just hoping, hoping for the same results, you know. Have a solid run, qualify good, maybe get the infer and uh, yeah, put it on the podium. off our next two and racer who looked to have one in the bag he had a lot of company but he looked stout enough to hold him off and then unfortunately fuel issues for the 20 Yama team as thomas mesrol san jose california racer chris dyson racing hot performance lubricants concord american flagpole racer magazine number 20 m throttles down into the corner that's a gasser right there heading out turn number two keep your eye on him just behind him comes the racer out of mount pocono pennsylvania jpa masonry Mantia Real Estate Stinger Race Fuel 88J for the big show, Joey Mantia. Lap number one for Team is going to be 15th quick on the field at 20.865, 20.865. Lap number one for Team is that front end getting a little light on him as he tries to get into the throttle. Joey Mantia 18th quick at 21.477, 21.477, 18th quick. He's the final car in the inversion for Joey. 
He's out tight to the wall, all the way up to the number seven spot at 20.533, 20.533. Huge improvement for Timez on lap number two in the 20M. Oh, Finn, feel like Ken Miles, this thing's just trying to fly away to Hawaii. Just got done qualifying with the uh, the 20 car and this Concord American flagpole car is ripping this place in long straightaways. Um, so, and this thing's got a 930 horse uh, Don on in it. So it gets down the straightaways real good. A little, little light in the front end, uh, you know, it was just kind of trying to fly the nose right in the middle of the corner. And when it would do it, it was, you know, it was kind of turning left on me. And so anyways, you know, we're in the show. We, we, we went seventh quick and uh, looking like a good start to the night. We just need one person to miss on uh, the heat race and we can start back on the front row again. So uh, stoked about the way the night's going. We're in. Just got done with the heat race. Missed the invert. Ah, man, I'm in trouble. Sean's not thrilled about it. I had stocked it and it was tough because as you can see, it was so sunny going into three. You just couldn't see it. Sometimes, you know, you just, you just don't transfer, you know? That could have put us on the front row, but we missed, so we're not on the front row, and we're making changes, but uh, hey, thanks for watching TMS TV. Might, uh, might stand up here on uh, Briggs Danner's trailer, get a little bit of the next heat race. So sometimes the hardest part. Hi, Thomas. Hi, hi, and Justin. All of you people. So sometimes the hardest part about being a race car driver is I was quick, and then I didn't transfer. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. How'd you go? Uh, I was pretty good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Actually, I think I think I got your heat race. You uh, might have been driving by the by the leader there, but uh, sweet. <laughs> so this place is uh fairly fast fairly fast one of my probably least favorite tracks honestly but um i love watching it here it's just not as fun to race in a non-wing car you have to slow down 
You have to slow down. You kind of race it like a silver crown car, and I don't really race silver crown I'm cars. No, I'm terrible. Yeah. That's my problem. I'm not good at slowing down. Well, hey, good luck. Thanks. You too, buddy. Thank you. My, my good friend, Justin Grant. Just getting your shirt, you know? So we're all looking at the track, and I got CJ Lear here. What do you think about uh, the Grove? Man, it's, uh, it's a really historic place, but it's definitely uh, needs some track prep. Get up on the fence so we can uh, go elbows up. Yeah. Slide or die, right? <laughs> right. Right. I'm not as big of a fan as Leary is. What about CV? CV, what do you think about the Grove? Oh, boy. That heat race is pretty sketchy. I don't know about you. I couldn't see a thing on the entire racetrack. I couldn't see anything either. The sun was just, I think it was the sun. It wasn't the track. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, the sun, it was a little dust, but the sun hitting the dust kills your vision. So I... I was taking her easy, trying not to. I, I did not know if there was a parked car or what. You, I, know, you don't see anything, so I was taking her a little easy. But uh, hopefully, yeah, the sun's down now. The track's getting cleaned up. They're doing a little track work, so hopefully, it's uh, pretty good for the future. I think it will be. I think it will be. Yeah, sun's they waited. Yes. So they were done. So the checker was out, and then we crossed. Got all my tear off stacked on, and it is go time. So see you out there, Williams Grove, Eastern Storm.
tosses the nose a little bit. I drive across the track and boom, open up a lane for two cars right here.
Grove is uh, is bad to the bone. I mean, flick to the fence, big curb. I was, uh, it was an amazing race. It was an awesome race. We ended up uh, six from ninth. So uh, not a bad run for the night. This place is super tricky to drive by people. But uh, as always, pumped on uh, how the night went. And uh, once again, thanks a bunch for watching Team Ez TV. Uh, should be some amazing footage, I'm sure. We'll know here in a bit. This place, uh, the employees, a lot of work day jobs, you know?